In this question, we need to find the Fourier transform of the signal whose waveform is shown here. The signal is xt and you can see signal xt is the combination of step signals. So we can use the method of differentiation. We will differentiate signal xt one time and differentiating it one time will give us the waveform which is combination of only impulses and from that waveform we can easily calculate the Fourier transform of signal xt. So let's differentiate signal xt. Differentiating it will give us the signal dxt over dt and here you can see we are having three straight lines. The first line is this one from minus infinity to 2 we are having this line which is parallel to the time axis and therefore it will make a zero degree in anti-clockwise direction from time axis. So we can say that the slope m is equal to 10 0 degree or simply the slope is equal to 0. After this the second straight line is this one and you can see it is making 90 degree from the time axis in anti-clockwise direction. So the slope of this line is equal to 10 90 degrees or we can say infinity. Then we are having the third straight line from 2 to plus infinity. This one is the third straight line and it is also making 0 degree with the time axis. Therefore, the slope of this line is also equal to 0. We are calculating the slopes because dxt over dt will give us the slope of time domain signal xt. And now we are having the different slopes for different intervals of time. From minus infinity to 2, the slope is equal to 0. So dxt over dt will have the waveform like this. From minus infinity to t equal to 2, dxt over dt is equal to 0. After this, when t is equal to 2, we are having the slope equal to infinity. And as the slope is equal to infinity, we will represent it using the impulse function. And the weight of this impulse will be equal to the discontinuity. You can see xt is equal to 4 when t is just less than 2. And when t is just greater than 2, the value of xt becomes minus 8. So the discontinuity is equal to 4 minus minus 8, which is equal to 12. And as we are having the downward level switching, you can see the level of the signal is switching downward. We will have a negative sign and the discontinuity is 12. So this impulse will have the strength equal to minus 12. After this from 2 to infinity, again the slope is equal to 0. So the waveform will continue like this from 2 to plus infinity dxt over dt is equal to 0. Now we can write dxt over dt in terms of this impulse and after that we will calculate the Fourier transform. So dxt over dt is equal to minus 12 the strength of the impulse and the impulse is present at t equal to 2. This means there should be right shifting of delta t. So we have delta t minus 2. In this way we have represented dxt over dt in terms of impulse and now we will take the Fourier transform on both the sides. From the property of differentiation j omega power 1 will be multiplied to the Fourier transform of xt. Let's say xt is having the Fourier transform x omega. So this is what we have on the left hand side and on the right hand side we will have minus 12 multiplied to 1 because delta t is having the Fourier transform equal to 1 but here we are having delta t minus 2 this means we need to use the time shifting property so we will have negative of j omega 2 in the power of the exponential so this is what we have and now we will separate x omega so we will divide both the sides by j omega so on the right hand side we have 12 multiplied to e power minus j omega 2 divided by j omega. But this is not the final result because we have not calculated the Fourier transform of TC value. Because after differentiation of this signal 
DC value becomes zero. So in this signal, the DC value is zero and the Fourier transform of DC value is equal to zero. But the original signal may have some non-zero DC value and its Fourier transform we need to include with the final Fourier transform. So let's calculate the DC value of the original signal XT, the DC value. The DC value is equal to four plus minus eight divided by two and it is equal to minus two. And we know minus two will have the Fourier transform equal to two pi multiplied to minus two multiplied to delta omega. And after solving this, you will have minus four pi delta omega. So it is important to include this Fourier transform along with this Fourier transform. So finally, we are going to get the Fourier transform x omega equal to this minus 12 multiplied to e power minus j omega 2 divided by j omega plus this one. So we have minus 4 pi delta omega. So this is our answer, the Fourier transform of signal xt. And now we will move to the homework problem. In the homework problem, you need to find the Fourier transform of the signal whose waveform is like this. Again, signal yt is the combination of step signals. Therefore, you need to follow the same process. You need to obtain the Fourier transform using the method of differentiation. So once you have your answer, post it in comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.